Well, it's finally happened. Our good friend, Roger Badgerman, has finally been caught by Mojang. And I think I know exactly how they did it. Welcome everyone, my name is Echo, and I'm here to keep you all updated with the latest news in the Minecraft community. We all know about Roger Badgerman. He has been leaking Minecraft content well in advance before they have been announced. Now this has been happening for way over one year, and it looks like it's finally come to an end. For the past 12 months on Twitter, Roger Badgerman has claimed to be an actual games industry insider. For those of you not familiar with this account or do not have Twitter, let me explain. So well in advance of Minecraft Live doing the mob votes via the Minecraft launcher or via the Minecraft Bedrock Live server, he told us that this was going to be the way that it would be done last year. 24 hours before the Minecraft live show, he posted just a camel. The day before Minecraft announced archaeology for Minecraft 1.20, he just posted a pot. Roger Badgerman has been the unsung hero for the Minecraft community for a very long time, but he's been caught. But today, he updated his Twitter profile, calling himself former games industry insider, and he posted a series of tweets. Roger Badgerman starts off by saying, well, lads, it's been an honor with a salute emoji, followed with a series of tweets which say, everybody has goals and aspirations. Many may think theirs are unattainable or out of reach, or that they aren't worthy of great achievements because they believe they have no value but they are wrong. He then says, our lives are all finite, but that doesn't mean our lives are disposable. Follow your dreams and do things that you love. Humans have this marvelous gift of creativity. Go out and use it, build, write, draw, paint, whatever it is that you love doing, do it. Love yourself, love others, empower the people around you to do what they love too. And the universe said, I love you because you are love, which was a quoted poem. P.S. Go easy on the devs. They pour love into everything they do too. There's enough love to go around for everyone. I don't know about you, but that was kind of emotional and inspirational from our good friend, Roger Badgerman. Anyways, why is Roger Badgerman signing off? Well, I have three theories as to why this has happened, and I think the last one is bang on the money. Over the last 12 months, the Minecraft community has speculated that this is, in fact, an alt account created by the Mojang developers, and they have been using this account to announce and reveal features days or weeks in advance. And people think the reason why they've done this is number one, it's gonna get people talking about it within the Minecraft community, which is gonna bring even more hype to Minecraft. People who don't see Minecraft are gonna see Minecraft trending. They're gonna see this information in their feed. Or in fact, people like me are gonna make videos and it's gonna get around in the community. So people think that Mojang did this themselves and it was in fact a marketing tactic. Many people think that Mojang had a rat, somebody on the inside who had access to this information and was leaking it. Maybe somebody who was very soon to be out of contract, somebody who was going to be leaving Mojang. Okay, but listen to my theory. And the reason why I think this is true is because I think that Mojang and Minecraft actually baited Roger Badgerman to find out how he was getting access to this information. Now, I don't know exactly where Roger Badgerman was getting this information from, but my guess is that the official Minecraft website might have had a hole where Roger Badgerman could slip through and see the content well in advance. Because as you know, whenever Minecraft announced something, it was always posted on Minecraft.net. Typically, games like Minecraft post these articles way in advance on their website. And when the time is right, they are releasing them to the public. Roger Badgerman got on the inside. And the reason why I believe this is how he got access to this is because everything he posted in terms of images and information was somewhat similar to the information and images they posted on the articles when it was public. But this story gets even more exciting. Do you remember this picture? Remember it? Roger Badgerman posted it and it was meant to be linked to the Minecraft sniffer. Everyone was super excited about it, but also really confused because it did not feel Minecrafty. Well, I believe Mojang and Minecraft used this image as bait 
to figure out where on earth Roger Badgerman was getting on the inside. So I think these flowers were posted on an article within Minecraft.net. Roger Badgerman seen it and decided to share it not knowing that this was going to be a baited picture. Now, this happened on February 13th. The image that you can no longer see is the image that I've just showed you. It now says, media not displayed. This image has been removed in response to a report from the copyright holder. So I think Mojang and Minecraft used the image as bait, discovered how Roger Badgerman was getting on the inside, and they have patched it. Now, of course, that's just my speculation, but it just seems to make sense because the image that Roger Badgerman posted, we've had none of that content released in Minecraft yet. Now, what I will say is take the information I say with a pinch of salt because that is linked to somewhat archaeology and archaeology in Minecraft 1.20 is not fully complete. Or everything I've told you in today's video is completely wrong. Mojang have figured out where this person lives, got access to all their information and have sent them a cease and desist, which means that they can legally no longer post any leaks or anything related to Minecraft without getting in trouble and getting a hefty fine. And there's one company that you're not going to win against and that is Microsoft because they're literally an infinite money glitch. But what I will say is it's been very exciting having Roger Badgerman post this information. And he's done exactly what I said at the start of the video. It's bring hype and build hype within the Minecraft community. Seeing this information a few days early really did bring me back to the old days of Minecraft. It was super exciting. He did in fact tweet this as well saying... I still see some comments here and there scrutinizing Mojang. So I want to make this crystal clear. Stop that. Let's all be respectful to one another. We all love this game because we love making things. Let's work towards a positive and a bright future together. So Minecrafters, looks like we're going to have to go back to being boring and no leaks within the Minecraft community. Seeing things when they're posted by Minecraft and Minecraft only, which really does suck.